really is today. So after Jesus was crucified and risen, he asked the disciples to meet him in Galilee. There he told them, Go and tell people I am the Lord, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so the disciples went to share the good news that Jesus is Lord. Are you ready for some science with Miss Jill? An experiment to illustrate the Great Commission. You need a tray of milk covered in oil, some food coloring, and toothpicks dipped in dish soap. So let's imagine this tray of milk and oil is the world. All kinds of people live in the world. People that are Christians, people that aren't Christians. Commission tells us that it's our job to go out and make disciples of all the world. So each one of these dots stands for one of us. We live in the world, but nothing much is happening. We don't do anything. We're just there. We're not spreading the good news. But when Jesus told his disciples that somebody would come and give them strength, he was talking about the Holy Spirit. So these sticks represent the Holy Spirit. When you have the power of the Holy Spirit, you can do great things. And so you can have the strength to share the good news of Jesus with others. It spreads. And spreads. And spreads. And spreads until it's all over the world. And that's our job as Christians, to spread the news of Jesus all over the world. Hey guys, it's time for a craft. So today we're gonna make this cloud, make disciples for Jesus. In the center of your paper, you're gonna draw the cloud and label it, make disciples for Jesus. Then all around the outside, you're going to label all the different ways that we can go out and make disciples. We can teach about Jesus. We can give money. We can tell about Jesus, offer friendship, pray, show kindness, and serve others. In each category, you're going to think about the people and the ministries that are around you that you can serve Jesus by making disciples. Maybe you have some change laying around the house and you can bring it to the church and you can offer it. That money goes to missions. That money goes to people all over the world who don't have enough to provide for themselves. Or maybe you can offer friendship to somebody that you see at school this year. Or you can show kindness by helping out family members and those around you that you see are in need. And you don't have to write words. If you want to draw pictures illustrating the ways that you're going to go out and make disciples by serving Jesus and teaching others about his awesome name, then you can draw pictures to do it too. We can't wait to see what some of you guys come up with for how you're going to go out this year and make disciples for Jesus. If you're going to post on Facebook or email your art to us, please remember not to put any personal names on there. Let's thank God today for this time that we've had together to talk about making disciples for Jesus. Bow your heads with me. Dear God, thank you so much that we got to hear from you today in your word in Matthew 28, 19. Thank you that you have taught us that we can go out and make disciples for Jesus, that we can go out and serve others and love others so that they know your son, Jesus. Help us to be brave, to be bold, and to share Jesus' name as we start school this year. It's in your son's precious and holy name we pray. Amen. We're so excited to share some of our awesome art that came in last week. Remember, we talked about Peter walking on the water with Jesus? Well, we had Eliana Willard, 
Gracelyn Willard and Hallie Schaefer turn in their awesome art. So we look forward to seeing who turns in their crafts this week so that we can display them in next week's Sunday School lesson.